Hey guys, it's Lamaru here, coming at you again with another Raid Shadow Legends video. Today we're going to be doing a guide on none other than Spider. Can you guess where he's good at? Yeah, that's right, Spider Dungeon. Really, really underrated by most people. He is only level 50, but he does exactly what you need him to do at level 50, so there's no need to take him up to level 60. Just going over his skills, his A1 has a 50% chance of remo removing a random buff on the target. His A2 attacks all enemies and reduces the duration of all buffs. Also has a chance of decreasing attack as well, booked up to 75% chance. But what he is most useful for is his A3. So it's a six turn cooldown, but you only really need him to use it once, um, depending on the type of teams you have for Spider 20 or other Spider levels as well. So when almost completely booked, he has a 100% chance to land decreased debuff on all enemies. And then he also has a 70% chance of applying the small version of Weaken as well on all enemies. Um, this is great because he is not actually doing an attack, so he cannot land weak hits. So every sort of affinity he is good against, which is really great because, like everyone knows, once you're going through Spider, it changes every single level. And it means, because he has Force, he is technically weak affinity against Spider 20, but because it's placing a buff, he does not get that 30% uh, chance to weak hit. He also has a great uh, aura as well for dungeons, a 25% speed increase, which is amazing. It's basically like giving everyone on your team 25 more speed if they have 100 base. In terms for masteries, you don't really need any on him. Um, if you want to, or if you have mastered him already, um, you're just going to basically go down here, pick up Accuracy, Lore of Steel, Evil Eye, Master Hexer, and Sniper. And then for Dungeons, you'll just be going down the left side here and picking up War Master. Alright, just going over the gear he needs, and this is stats. Um, right now, he has 198 speed. You just want him faster than all your nukers on your team. And he has uh, high accuracy as well. So that means putting him in accuracy sets and speed sets. So everything that he has is either going to have speed, HP percentage so that he doesn't get targeted, or accuracy. Speed, accuracy, speed, accuracy, speed boots, HP chest, and his flat HP gloves. The only reason why I kept these is because they rolled double accuracy and then they also rolled speed after that as well. Um, I'm not fortunate enough to have HP percentage gloves that have speed and accuracy on them. And as well, we have HP with HP and defense, and HP with accuracy. Let's get him into action in Spire 20 here. I've got a couple comps that he works with. This one's a speed comp. Um, so about 95% of the time, this comp's going to work in between 17 to 21 seconds. Um, However, if he gets resisted on his defense down, or yeah, if he does get resisted on his defense down, it's going to be a failure. And as an added bonus, if your team doesn't kill the spiderlings, he can put attack down on them. All right, so that's the quick one. That's a lot closer if you're end game. All of these people have like 250% crit damage, almost 180, 190 speed, and then 70% crit rate on the cold hearts, 100% on royal guards. And he enables them to do this if you don't have someone like Venus or Draco. All right, we'll throw him in now with a team that is much more friendly for free to play. So he can work in a team like this. Um, you just need to add someone that will keep them alive and that's gonna be a miscreated monster in this case. Um, kind of free to play, obviously miscreated monster is the hardest one to pull out of the bunch. I say that although all of them are all have the exact same chance of being pulled. Um, if not, you could probably try to use another cold heart in his place. It would just be a lot harder. But we'll just show what they can do as a team of three level 50s. So Gorgrab's gonna attack up. That enables ultimate Gaelic. And then it's basically game over because miscreated monster puts like a 500 million shield. So the one thing about these runs is again, 
if he doesn't land the defense down on the boss, it still has a chance of failing. But basically, that defense down, and if he lands the weaken as well, is just enabling your team to do more damage. And you could probably do this team if you took Cold Heart out and put a Stagnite in instead. Still need to get one more little damage off. And you got a minute and 14 run there. Keep defense rings. So oh, obviously, like I said, he's just there for the ally speed from his aura and then as well as his defense down slash weekend. He's much better option than someone, say, like Razin, who has a much higher chance of getting resisted. Uh, we can also show him in Ice Golem. He is going to be the leader, obviously. And then we can toss in Stagnite for a defense down. So if you are going to use him in every dungeon besides spiders, it's not a bad thing to have him completely booked up. Um, it'll definitely help if you don't have someone like Stagnite to get the attack down on uh, the enemy waves. And if you have absolutely no other good epics, I wouldn't mind it if you um, 60'd him. I'm giving you, I'm allowing you to 60 him. But he is someone that people don't really look out too often. Definitely does a lot of things really well that you want from a support character. And does it just needing accuracy and speed basically so it's not that hard to build and that's why you can keep them at level 50. All right moving on to the boss soon. Staying alive and removing the buffs as well so that's really nice with the uh, reflect damage. Kind of like a gore grab or grab A1, Light Sworn slash Stagnite A2. Basically, it does a little bit of everything that other support champs do. Okay, got the def defense down again on the boss. And you can also use him for Arena as well. Um, obviously, that's probably not the best option just because there are better options you could literally use just a war maiden because that's what she does she puts defense down on everyone instead um the only thing that makes him better is that he can put weaken down as well all right we're gonna finish up with this boss here Almost managed to kill a champion by himself. Again, defense down, 100% chance. And eventually this boss is going to die. Now that there's no minions up. And hopefully it dies before we do. There we go. All right, that is just about it for him. We can show him in one arena run. I'm not too sure how well it's going to go, considering I am um, about mid goal four or face this team. Okay, as long as we go first, we're good here. Hmm. I see expecting that to happen. You're not supposed to be taking extra turns. Just get rid of her so that we can do this. 
And half the team is going to be dead already before we even take a turn. All right. There we go. Um, so defense down, and weaken, defense down, weaken, and just to defense down. Gonna slip, get Kustex to go to sleep. Speed us up again. Go to sleep. And we can attack all enemies. No, we'll just kill her. And if we were lucky there, he would have removed her... Uh, revive on death so she does come in handy there a bit too um, I don't really see him being more used I've never seen them be used probably in arena in the past like six months so this is really only like bronze maybe silver one where you would be able to use them he's much more useful in dungeons um, clan boss Probably only easy or normal that you would use them in if you have absolutely no one else that does attack down slash defense down and weaken. So he could be useful for that for the early game. Um, definitely useful though in Dark Elves for his abilities to attack all enemies and also remove buffs. So definitely useful in that. But yeah, I'm just going to give the ratings for... Mr. Spider, um, arena offense. I mean, it does say that, but he's been in the game so long. I don't think that's as good as people think. But he does do defense down, and that's half the part of nuking a team. I give him very good. Um, clan boss, just early game clan boss. Spider den five stars. Arena defense, no. Uh, Dragon Slayer. He's. I don't like a very good excellent. Um, he's good. Campaign locations, no, you're not going to be using him as a campaign farmer. Minnows, yeah, he's fine. Dragon's Lair, or Magic Keep, he's good. Forward Keep, good. Ice Golem, he's good. Fire Knights, no, he has only... He's not useless, but he doesn't have any um, multi-hits on his A1. Uh, Force Keep, good. Spirit Keep, good. And I'd give him a 5 in Faction Worth again, just because all of his artifacts are again. But all of his skills are AoE, or they do a debuff, or they remove buffs from enemies, which is really important. So those are a lot of annoying champion waves. Recommended artifacts. Um, you don't necessarily need accuracy on him, but this is basically right. Um, you could do more speed if you have accuracy banners. Yeah, so this has been our spider guide. And if you have one, let us know in the comments if you use them below. So if you like this content, toss us a like. And if you want to see more, toss us a sub.